the sicker you get. And the sign is this, independent Baptist mental hospital where they make you more sicker by going there. See, you're healthy, you come to the church, you become sick. Because Satan there controlling you. You come there, you'll be controlled by Satan. And this is the Satan, independent, Baptist, Giovanni, devil. Independent, Baptist, devil. Hide it from my family. And what is it? See, this perverted churches, that's why they, they're all empty. You come there, they asking you, you know, to go every Sunday to do soul winning, like this is a, like a soul winning. It's, it's if you win a soul, you know giving stop tracks, inviting people to church, people come and then they open their mouth with perverted mouth with their nonsense and people leave. People people not staying there. People running, running. The, the faster, the faster, that's how they, <laughs> you become Olympic champion, you know, fast runner, by running from these perverted churches. You know, run as fast as you can. Friends, the Bible teaches us to be sure your sin will find you. Bible teaches us be sure your sin will find you out. And what, what sin is that? What sin is that? Why, why you didn't mention even one sin? Find you out. You know, find you out, you only find the sin in every perverted church who teaches lies. That's the only sin you can find out by Holy Spirit is convicting you and telling you don't believe this because this is a lie. And then you'll find out yourself about this particular teaching in the church that this is a liar and that's the sin. That's the sin will find them out by lying about God. And now I found you out, you crook. And I reproved that what you're saying here, this is just one sermon. He lies, he lies every Sunday. I went to this church for... 12 months plus, and I went there before. Every Sunday, he's lying about God. Every Sunday. Went there for 12 months. With my wife, we decided to go there just to see again what, what it's, what it's, What's, what it's about to get deeper, to get to know them deeper. And every Sunday, this pervert lies. Every Sunday. C.H. Spurgeon was once asked by an individual. Spurgeon, yeah. Now she brings the idol. Yeah, a book on his life. And why would he do that? Write a book on his Spurgeon life. Spurgeon responded by saying, You may write yeah. my life in the skies. In the skies. I have nothing to hide. Got nothing to hide. Why do I need Spurgeon's life? life? I've got the Lord Jesus Christ's life. That's all I need, not Spurgeon, you idol worshipper. Deliberately amputated. So now he's talking about fleshy life. Now he's talking about fleshy life. 
I've got nothing to hide. So this is self-righteous devil. And he is telling you how to live your life the way he lives. And if you are not living the life the way he lives, you of the devil. That's the Independent Baptist Church. Not house. This is the biblical doctrine of separation. Biblical doctrine of separation. Being set apart from sin by being set apart unto God. Set apart from sin, be set apart. Be set apart from sin. Our lifestyle and our words will determine who we belong to. Wow. Well, you're the one who's opening mouth. You're the only one who's talking. So it's your words. Our words go. Our words is quiet. We we don't we don't talk. You're the only one. Your life and my life. What's my life going to do with anything? Ah, you idiot. Complete idiot. And that's in every church. Every church. Most of us looking in our phones than reading the Word of God. What are you picking on the phone for? See this deluded 
full of darkness, he's got no idea about the word of God. Absolutely none. He's dumb as this table. And then, when you want a guy to these churches and tell them how dumb they are, you can't do that. So just leave them as dumb as they are, just leave them alone. Am I right or not? No, nah, you're wrong. You're right as a devil. And you say you love God? Yeah, I do. You determine not to leave home without your phone, but you'll leave home without your Bible. Well, you put your sermons on the phone, you imbecile. I'm listening now the sermons with which you deceive the church through the phone. He's so stupid. God wants you and I to love him. Lord, have they? Are you prepared? Am I prepared to do what needs to be done to affirm that love for God? But let me warn you, you might need to deliberately amputate some things out of your life. Amputate out of your life. Wow. Be followers of God. That's wild. By walking in love. That's wild. Where the perversions. And doing what needs to be done. Devil is stupid. That love devotion for God first and foremost. And this is a stupid pastor. All right, enough of this imbecile. So to conclude this idiotic preaching, this uh, self-righteous um, pastor wants you to be self-righteous and the self-righteousness needs to be the self-righteousness like he is. So I, this fool wants to live the life how he lives. This fool wants, to, wants you to live in the house how he lives, the car he drives, the phone he has, the computer, or everything how he does it. And what he says about you imputating all the stuff out of your lives, he still got it. And this imbecile doesn't work. The church pays his salary. He, he lives somewhere in San Ives, that's a prestigious suburb. And the house probably given him by the church. So this lazy, perverted devil doesn't work and he grabs all the money out of the church and he's telling you how to live your life see that's the independent satanic cult if you go there they will make you sick because they are sick themselves and uh, there is nothing godly about these devils. They just doctor feel good. And for you to feel good, you just need to imputate everything out of your life. Well, there you go.
Now you know what the Independent Baptist Church is all about. Stay away from them if you can. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, that uh, I was able to um, speak, Lord, and uh, tell and prove all this Independent Baptist Church pastors, how they're making people sick in the church, and how they're deceiving the church. Uh, I pray, Lord, now you deal with them. You deal with them. And the way you will deal with them, that's the best way, Lord. And thank you, Lord, uh, that you're giving me voice, Lord, and uh, you're giving me time, Lord, that I can spend, Lord, to promote your truth, Lord, and expose satanic lies, Lord. Love you, Lord, and praise and worship your holy name, Lord. Praying and asking in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.